getting into space is an expensive business. But a reusable space plane like this could revolutionise hypersonic flight and make space access much cheaper. That's the ambition of British company Reaction Engines. They've developed the Synergetic Air Breathing Rocket Engine, or Sabre. It will use the oxygen already present in the atmosphere instead of having to carry an onboard oxidizer, such as liquid oxygen. Uh, it's a synthesis of rocket and jet engine technologies. It's a device that would power a vehicle to more than five times the speed of sound, so more than 4,000 miles per hour, and up to 25 times the speed of sound if it's going into orbit. But at those speeds, the temperature coming in at the front of the engine is 1,000 degrees Celsius. The unique pre-cooler technology inside Sabre solves this problem and is a world first, according to Reaction Engines. Essentially, it is an extremely efficient heat exchanging system which will effectively mount on the front of our new engine design and very efficiently cool incoming air from a very high temperature of about 1000 degrees C to minus 150 degrees C in a fraction of a second, approximately one hundredth of a second. A Sabre-powered vehicle like their Skylon concept design won't need to carry hundreds of tonnes of onboard oxidant on its way to orbit, nor will it need costly first-stage rockets that are jettisoned once the oxidant is used up. It currently costs about a hundred million dollars to launch a craft into space. Reaction Engine says their technology would reduce this by a factor of ten. And it could eventually lead to the next generation of hypersonic commercial aircraft. The concept of a reusable space plane is, is, is the holy grail of space access, but the range of operation is extraordinary. There's not a, another engine anywhere in the world, even in uh, people's imagination, that can, uh, can uh, achieve that range of operation. So that's what really makes it unique. The company has received more than $100 million of funding from BAE Systems and the British government. They're aiming for a full engine demonstration by the end of the decade, with plans to then start work on a reusable space plane.